Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and boy do I got a banger video for you guys. We're going to be comparing 8 gigs of RAM versus 16 gigs of RAM versus 32 gigs of RAM to see if it's worth upgrading for if some of you guys are rolling on 8 or 16 gigs and are curious what it'd be if you got higher RAM. This is going to be the video for you. Now a lot of you guys might be smart and thinking that it's only going to be like a 5 or 10 FPS gain, but it's actually so much more. So because it took a long time to make this video, if you guys don't mind subscribing, like the video all that stuff really helps support the channel i really appreciate it and let's just jump right in with the 8 gig ram setup all right guys so this is the build as you can see we got one stick of ram in this is eight gigabytes of ram um, these are the uh, ddr4 3600 megahertz um, sticks of ram that we're going to be using and i just got a new 32 well 16 gigs of extra ram for a total of 32 so as you can see, DDR4, 3600 megahertz. This, by the way, is a AMD build, GTX 1070, eight gigs of DDR4, uh, Ryzen 3700X. So um, this will help a lot because with just this one stick of eight gigs of RAM, as you can see, our memory is up to 83%. So it is super high. All right, so as you can see here, guys, we got about eight gigs of RAM in and we're getting the FPS about 140 to 180. And that's pretty consistent around that frame rate there. Now we'll mention that my usage on my memory is super high. So I think that it is definitely bottlenecking at eight gigs, but this is also due to the fact I am running a streaming and recording software called Streamlabs OBS. Uh, I'm gonna show you the utilization here. So as you can see, CPU is even pretty high at 50, 55%, but the memory is the biggest thing there. It's up to 90%. Overall, not so good, but let's go ahead and take a look at 16 gigs now. All right, so I just got my uh, extra eight gigs of RAM in there, just plugged in this one. Keep in mind with PC builds, you have to have them separated by one slot. So you can see in there, I have a total of four slots, but I'm just using them separate by, uh, you have to alternate. So if you have two sticks of RAM, you have to have them separate, but hopefully this will run a lot better. And also just a side note, for some reason my fans are going ultra super hard on max speed. I'm not sure why. So I've been using 16 gigs of RAM for almost two years now on PC. So I'm pretty used to it, but as you can see, the FPS is much higher, which is awesome. By about 20 FPS, we're getting 160 to 200, and it's really consistent at that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Just by adding an extra stick of RAM, we got a huge performance boost there. Um, so I'm going to show you what the utilization looks like, and it is way better. So as you can see, GPU, CPU, RAM, they're all even across the board, all around that 40 to 50 percentile uh, range there, and they're sticking at it consistently. And up next is 32 gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead and take a look. We've got the extreme RGB makeover done here. It looks like there's like a green rainbow flying through my PC now. But yeah, we got 32 gigs in there, so we're going to test it out. Um, yeah, as you can see, I got RGB on everything. I thought it'd be really cool. Um, the dust is, um, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> so this was actually the most shocking benchmark. I was really surprised because as you can see, we even further increased our FPS gain. I was getting now like, I think 180 up to 220, something like that. So another 20 FPS on top of the last 20 FPS we gained just by adding two more sticks of RAM. And I just thought that that was super surprising because as we saw before, where uh, the GPU, CPU, and RAM were all at 50%, now we got our RAM down to just 22% utilization. So that's pretty incredible that dropping it from 50% to 22% actually gave us 20 FPS more. So yeah guys, in conclusion, I just wanna kinda of wrap up my feelings about the whole situation, what I would recommend to somebody if they had a PC build and they only had like eight gigs of RAM, I would say definitely go for it if you can. And the reason is because, uh, like I mentioned, your CPU and your GPU, those are the main things for gaming. Those are the two most important. And right up there is, with the third most important is RAM. And the good news about RAM is it's very cheap compared to a CPU and a GPU. With the CPU, you have to completely get a new CPU. With the GPU, it's the same situation. You have to get a brand new graphics card. With RAM, you can just add more to what you got. So if you only got one stick in there, definitely look to, uh, to find a good deal. Get that up to like 16, because I'm telling you, I mean, they can help a lot 
for a, a multitude of reasons. For one, it's RAM memory. So what it's going to allow you to do is kind of do multiple things all at once. So if you want to have your web browser open while you're playing Fortnite, you can do that. You can watch a YouTube video while you're sitting in a bush in arena. You know, you could do like lots of things. You can talk to people on Discord and and uh, it just makes for a lot smoother of an experience because everything that you do on your computer is using memory. Um, so those things are just like randomized memory, meaning they're open only while you have a task open. Or as you think about like storage memory, that's actually like saving it to a hard drive. But with the more RAM you have, the more tasks you can do at once and you don't bottleneck any tasks. Um, so as you saw with like eight gigs, I was bottlenecking my my build hard like it was up to 80 or 90 percent I know that's what she said, but hey guys come on uh, <laughs> What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, so yeah I mean I would only recommend upgrading your RAM if you uh, are like at 8 gigs and want to go to 16 gigs if you want to go from 16 to 32 it can it can somewhat help i think that 20 fps gain from that maybe wasn't worth it because i had to spend like 70 bucks 70 80 bucks to get more of a like an extra 16 gigs of ram where that might not be very you know economic to you in your situation so uh just it it does help like the more ram you have the more it helps right it doesn't ever hinder your performance so um, I'd say go for it. If you have money to spend, definitely upgrade your RAM because it does help with your FPS and helps with things you just use your desktop for. And personally for me, being a content creator, it helps a lot because I'll be using my editing software and playing Fortnite because I get bored while it's rendering, um, while it's making a video and then like I get a message that pops up saying your memory is full, please close a task. So I have to like close everything in my computer just to get my video to render. So I don't have to worry about that with 32 gigs because that's a ton of RAM. Like there's very few situations where you would need to go from 32 gigs up to 64. Um, but I kind of digress. I guess what I'm saying is uh, it is definitely going to help with your FPS for one. And for two, it allows for a, a multitude of more tasks all at once. You know, you can have your Discord run in the background, web browser, FPS boosting apps, you know, whatever. You can have tons of stuff going. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Maybe if you were considering upgrading your RAM, maybe now you got a little bit more information. I just feel bad for laptop players because they can't easily upgrade their RAM like we can with desktops and cases. You can just open the case and put the stick in and you're good to go. Um, but with laptops, some of you guys might be able to upgrade, but you'd have to like take the full enclosure off the back of your laptop and it kind of takes a little longer. Um, but let me know if you guys upgrade your RAM in the past, if you guys got FPS boosts and what you guys thought of the comparison. But as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out for now.